Costco 2023 jack o lantern I think it's just called the flickering pumpkin, actually. Um, I literally just got this guy right now. I actually ordered him uh, two days ago, I think. Uh, before I start, I do want to say it has been raining, so the box has a little bit of like water on it, but it's no big deal. Oh uh, yeah, let's show the box. So that's the front. It's just a photo of him with this cool like haunted house in the background. There's the front, this is the side. So here he is shown lit, um, unlit and from the back. There's the side, uh, this is just the exact same. And then this side I can't show because it's got my shipping address on it, but it's pretty much the same thing. It just has like, it's literally the front with the dimensions. It's just this and then these two, or well, these three diagrams with like things on it. There you go, it's literally just that, but yeah. This is not a toy. So you can see it has, oh, what does it say? Flickering flame light effect, motion sensor activated sound. And this does have a timer. Okay, that's pretty good. Cause um, I don't know if you guys saw, but my last year I picked up the, no, no, not last year, um, 2021, I think. I picked up the, the pumpkin they were selling that year. And it's pretty much like a different mold to this, but it does all the same stuff, I think. Although this one does do a flicker effect. I usually put all my pumpkins like in a window display. And so like if you're going out, you don't really want to have it running like constantly. So you can just like change uh, to the timer. It's good if you're going away. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say about the box. Let's go ahead and open this thing. So I did just check um, that he's actually inside the box because the tape looked a bit sketchy, but yeah, it's okay. He's definitely inside there. And so here he is. There you go. And yeah, he's actually pretty big. I think he's about like 40 centimeters long. I tried to have like some sort of spooky lighting set up here, but it's kind of getting in the way a bit, so I'll just turn it away. <laughs> We've got that like stalk protector on there. Okay, there he is. And the instruction manual. Okay, so here he is out of the box. We got the two instruction manuals that just kind of top up batteries a bit. Uh, that's pretty much it. It just kind of tells you the different settings. Yeah, he's pretty big. I'm not gonna lie. He's actually like a lot bigger than I thought he would be. Okay, guys. So as you can see, he is now working. I just put some fresh batteries in him. And yeah, this is what he does. So he is currently on his both sound and light mode. So I think it's sound activated. So if we make a loud noise, he'll probably start. There you go. He's going on. But yeah, as you guys can see, the lighting is really good. It's very simple, but it's very effective. But no, yeah, the pumpkin looks great. The sound is a little bit quiet, but honestly, it's not too big of a deal. Um, I don't think, no, it has no volume control, uh, no volume knob or anything, but that's okay. The sound itself, um, I think it's like a combination of just like laughing and then like some stock sound effects or something. Um, but yeah, he's gonna go in the maze probably, or outside, I don't know. I've got two pumpkins now, so I can kind of fluctuate between the two. Overall, he's an amazing prop. Um, for the price, you really can't get better. I've seen some like been resold on eBay for like so much more than what he was initially going for on Costco's website. I'm pretty sure this was an Australian exclusive like a couple years back. But yeah, now I've got him. I really love him. He's actually really, really cool. And I cannot wait to use him.